Hello, everyone. I hope you've been doing well. As you've likely already guessed from the title, today's video is going to be a bit of a departure from my typical content, as the species we will be discussing is not a bird, but an amphibian. Thank you to Katja Britton for suggesting the American bullfrog. Let's learn together. It's been described as a lightsaber, a heavy chair squeaking across a wooden floor, and of course, the mooing of a bull. The male call of the American bullfrog is a loud, familiar noise which can be heard both day and night across much of northern and central America. These prolific breeders have also established lasting populations in South America, Asia, and Europe marking themselves as one of the worst invasive species in the world. Of course, as with many invasive species, this is not entirely the fault of the American bullfrog. Their legs may be powerful, but they certainly can't hop from one continent to another. No, like so many before them, this species was introduced. But that certainly isn't going to stop them from taking advantage of the opportunity. Ultimately, whether native or not, the species certainly has some interesting characteristics. Carnivores by nature, the restless American bullfrog hunts both day and night, eating whatever meat it can. Being an ambush predator, the bullfrog will lie in wait, camouflaged by its greens and browns. When a hapless creature walks too close, the bullfrog lunges into action with its powerful legs and snaps its jaw shut on its new meal. The bullfrog isn't picky with its diet, eating insects, crayfish, snails, birds, rodents, small turtles, fish, snakes, and even other frogs, as long as it can get its mouth around them. Those creatures best not think that distance will save them, as the American bullfrog can easily perform a standing leap that covers six feet in length, or ten times the length of its own body. All this eating helps a bullfrog to grow big and strong, with females measuring around eight inches and weighing a little over a pound, and males coming in just a bit smaller. Despite their small size, males are staunchly aggressive and defend their territory with vigor. They do this by staking out prime egg-laying sites in key breeding ponds during early summer belting out that classic call to let other males know that they should stay away, and letting females know that another bachelor has secured a nursery. <coughs> Following breeding, the female will lay up to 20,000 eggs in the nesting site, all floating near the surface in a viscous clump. These eggs will hatch in four to five days, depending on the temperature of the pond, and will always hatch in July. After hatching, the bullfrog will begin life as a tiny tadpole, which uses a long tail to swim and gills to breathe. During this stage, the tadpole will feed mainly on algae in the water around it, and it must be very cautious lest it become prey to all manner of birds and frogs. Following the tricky tadpole stage, the frog will slowly begin to develop legs and lungs as it becomes a tailed froglet, they also begin to develop the ability to absorb oxygen through their skin, a very helpful gift when spending much of their time underwater. Eventually, this froglet will develop into an adult frog, ready to feed, croak, and breed with its peers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about these widespread amphibians. If you did, consider checking out the rest of my channel, where I have similar content uploaded. I'd like to once again thank Katja Britton for suggesting this topic, and remind you all that if you have a species you'd like covered, to let me know in the comments below. As always, my sources for photos and information are in the description if you'd like to learn more. Stay safe, but get out there when you can. Until next time!